Thanks for coming back. In today's video, the eighth in a series on how to make a professional website using WordPress, I'm gonna show you how to customize your WordPress website's sidebar. This is not an overly complex skill, so this video is gonna be short and sweet. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. So go ahead and log into your WordPress website and get to your dashboard. And then the first thing we should always do is check for updates. We can see there are a couple updates that we have to take care of. So go ahead and click updates, scroll down a little bit, and we will see what those updates are. And they are these two plugins. So let's go ahead and click select all, and then click update plugins. Now that we have our updates taken care of, let's get to the sidebar. Let's go to our website, and let's click on the blog page or the about page to see the sidebar. Right now, I've done nothing to it, so there it is. It's got this meta stuff on it, which I don't want. Um, maybe I want my categories here. I have to think about that. My archives, my recent comments, and recent posts, and a search bar. So here's how you edit the sidebar. Go to your dashboard here, and then hover over appearance, and then click on widgets. Here it is right here, your inner sidebar. You can add and take away things right there, and it's really easy. So let's say we want to get rid of the archives section in the sidebar. Simply grab it and drag it out, and it's gone. Say you want to get rid of the meta content on the sidebar, which never looks good there anyway. Just drag it out and get rid of it. So you already know almost everything you need to know about your sidebar already. I told you this video was going to be quick and easy, but here are a few extra pointers. In Jetpack settings, Jetpack is over here, click on settings, and make sure you have extra sidebar widgets activated. That will give you some extra widgets to play with in your sidebar. Go back to my sidebar here. You can see which widgets are extra over here from Jetpack, like this one, blog subscriptions. You can see in parentheses here, it says Jetpack, or it's trying to. Scroll down a little bit, you'll see contact info, Jetpack, gallery, Jetpack, Goodreads, Jetpack. So take a look at all the widgets, including the Jetpack ones, and see what you want to have in your sidebar. You should always try to use your sidebar to enhance your mission to your readers. Let's look at myboringchannel.com for an example. You can see in my sidebar, right away I have this why not subscribe button. As you scroll down, you see web hosting over 50% off. That's because I'm an affiliate for InMotion Hosting and I want people to know that. Scroll down a little bit more and it says let me promote your site. So if you have a cool WordPress website, you can let me promote your site. As you can see, I try to get my main messages out here in my sidebar in a very prominent location, and that's what I like to use the sidebar for. One of my favorite widgets is just the simple text widget. Let's scroll down this page here, grab the text widget and drag it up, and place it right here. Now I can title this widget whatever I want. So I'll title it uh, Sports Teams, because I can't think of anything else right now. And then in here, I can talk about my favorite sports teams. You can add links in here, you can add HTML code in here, you can add images in here. Yes, that takes a little bit of work to do all that. And if you need help with the HTML code, just contact me via my website and I'll be glad to help you. When you're done creating your text widget, simply click Save. Now let's see what our sidebar looks like. And there's our sidebar with our search box, the text box that I just created, my recent posts, my recent comments, and my categories. Now, if you look back at my main website, myboringchannel.com, these first three widgets are all just the text widget. So I really do like to use that text widget for my sidebar to get my message across to my readers. I really appreciate you watching today's video. Thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot. Remember, I offer free support for your WordPress website. Check out my website, myboringchannel.com. Subscribe to my channel and stick around. Next video coming next week.